Good morning everyone, welcome to YouTube for Dummies. Now most of you are probably saying, why am I watching this jackass? What's he going to teach me about YouTube? Well, you're never too young or too old to learn something stupid on YouTube. Well, except for, for a millennial, right? So if you're a millennial, you're probably rolling your eyes and saying, why am I watching this jackass? So anyhow, yeah, starting off, you know, if you're going to watch YouTube, you need to have a good platform to watch stuff on. A lot of you guys are watching YouTube on your phones, so so here's the problem. You know, uh, if you like to get out of the house and do stuff interesting, you need a good rugged phone. Uh, for myself, I explore bad of mines for a living. So, uh, you know, any regular kind of iPhone, you know, when you're climbing into mines, uh, rappelling down cliffs, uh, hiking around, uh, wading through water, you go through a lot of phones. And, you know, a smartphone's just not tough enough really to keep up with uh, an active person that uh, leads an interesting life, right? So here's a tip for you guys. If you're going to have a phone, you've got to get a proper phone, right? So here we go. This is what we got. This is a tough phone. You ain't going to destroy it. I've had it for years. And I've been through a lot of iPhones. So here we go. So this is a rugged phone. This is not an old phone. It's a rugged phone, right? So there you go. So, you know, um, first of all, you can't text on it, which is good because it's retarded. Why would anyone text? I can talk a hundred times faster than I can text. Why would I text? I'm like, don't even text me. I'll never message you back. I don't even check my messages. And uh, a phone, well, yeah, the phone works. But this sucks for watching videos on YouTube. Uh, there's a tiny little screen. You can't watch uh, good videos on YouTube. So forget about that. You can check that, throw that away. Nobody even calls me on my phone. We don't need a phone. So we're going to talk about YouTube on the desktop. This is where you guys should be watching YouTube videos that are worth watching. So I'm going to give you a bunch of tips about just watching videos and how to run this desktop that you maybe uh, I didn't know for a long time and uh, it just makes it really handy to navigate through stuff that you're watching on YouTube. So, so starting with the basics, you're watching a video on YouTube or something like that. Most of you guys are used to using your mouse, you know, to navigate and have to stop and start the movie and uh, like, you know, like that or whatever, uh, it's a real pain. Uh, there's no reason to use your mouse. The space bar, watch this. You hit the space bar, stop, go, stop, go. Real easy for editing, something like that. So I don't watch this. We're seeing something interesting on this video. So you go, stop and say, oh, what's that? I just seen a bird fly by. What is this? Okay, so you want to see that again. Well, again, you don't have to use your mouse. Um, what you can do is, if you highlight this box, you can use these arrow. You can just watch that. The arrow, uh, your up and down keys will just go f forward. You can start it back up there, cue it back up to where you're at. So a lot easier if someone something happens, your phone rings, you can just stop, move it forward, backwards, way better than using your mouse. So hang on to YouTube. Yeah, you know, we got this awesome channel. You tell people about your channel, they're excited about it. What's the channel called? It's called Exploring Abandoned Minds. Problem is you Google that, there's a whole bunch of other stuff uh, on uh, in the most search engines, you might find it, and you might find another channel, it's difficult to find it. So I uh, made a bunch of business cards up, so you give it to them and made up a shortcut. So there we go, so there's my card there. So if you actually Google Exploring Battle Mines in BC, you'll find mine and not others. And we made this shortcut up, so you know, it's a bit little shortcut, there it is. Uh, it's uh, uh, HTTP and colon backslash backslash little bit uh you know so you can see it there so that's a real pain you know it's uh you know something that people can't remember and uh you gotta look at the card like i even have to look at the card all the time to remember where's the colon the backslash there's got to be a better way so this is what we did uh i've got another millennial that's really smart uh, actually my uh my partner's uh daughter robin thanks for helping us out started another website and it's just really easy to find you just go EAM uh, merch, EAM merch. You just do that and it'll take you right to the channel. So that's a really easy way to get traffic to your channel. Everyone can remember that. Just go to EAM or EAM merch and it'll take you to this channel. Okay, so go open your any uh, search engine and you actually have to push, uh, you got to search for EAM space merch, M E R C H. And there you go, just hit that. First thing comes up right there, exploring a band of mine. So you just hit that, and uh, we're doing this on a touch screen, you can do it with a mouse. And uh, the Facebook page will come up, and you don't have to belong to Facebook or anything like that. Um, so uh, Robin did a great job on this page here, with all kinds of, uh, you can buy stickers and coffee cups and a whole bunch of stuff. 
a bunch of newest pictures and uh, highlights and stuff off of there. But the main reason you want to go on here is to find your way to YouTube, right? So there's a link right there. You just hit that and uh, the page opens up in a couple seconds. This is the home page for my YouTube channel. So the cool thing about this, so you got three things here. You got uh, the bonfire, you hit that. And uh, if you want to buy a t-shirt, uh, it takes you to that site. Uh, if uh, you want to go to the Facebook channel, we got a real cool Facebook channel called Exploring Abandoned Mines. People from all over the world um, post all these different mines and have discussions and whatnot. Uh, it's a really cool channel. It's about 5,000 members. Uh, the other thing that's on there, there's a, a patron thing. So if you want to donate to the channel, you can. Um, you know, for the most part, we're just really grateful for you guys watching it. And uh, we get money from that. So uh, some other stuff that's really cool on the channel. So you got three tabs here. You got videos and playlists. So if you go on videos, it's going to show you... Uh, a whole bunch of videos, all the latest uploads up there. But what's even better on this, you can see all the videos that are posted on here, is you go to playlists. So playlists, they got all these lists made up, and you know there's uh you won't be able to see that because it's just mine, but the newest videos, the different seasons, and uh the really cool one here, we got all the, the best, there's 40 of the best uh videos here. Uh playlists, you go on playlists. And uh, you can see all the videos that's been, uh, all these different playlists I've created. This one here, all, all exploring a band mind videos, you click on this one. And uh, all the videos that I've posted on the site from newest to oldest are on here. So there's number one, number two, number three, all the way to 199. You can change, the cool thing about this, you can start watching them. And when that one's done, then the next one will play in the next one. So it doesn't sequence. Rather than if you just watch a video, then some other random video will come up. So you can watch, you can bin watch them all. You can change that to go this way. You can shuffle a playlist, or you can make this list from, uh, you can loop it, make it from oldest to newest. There's a bunch of stuff you can do. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's basically, uh, there's a bunch of shortcuts and cool stuff that you can do to watch uh, the videos on Exploring Abandoned Minds. Okay, so you're watching the video. And you notice this button here, you hit that and the subscribe button comes up. Okay, you'll see the subscribe button. You hit the subscribe button and then that bell comes on. You need to hit that bell to subscribe. So then you got three options. You got all, personalize, or none. You have to hit on all and then you get notifications. Lots of people say they're subscribed to the channel, but they don't get notifications. You need to have those two little things on the bell. So what happens when we have a live broadcast or a new video, you'll get an email that's telling you there's a new broadcast or a video and you'll get notified. So thank you for joining me and I hope you guys maybe learned a couple little things, make it a little easier to navigate the channel. And uh, you know, thank you guys all for your support and uh, we'll see you next week. We'll have another exciting video for you.